They'll be calling you a radical, so this is important. This is big breaking news right here, right now, real important. So, San Lafre, there'll be a meeting of people in San Clemente on the nuclear waste on Saturday, the 30th. I was hoping to make it the funeral. I don't think I'll make it, but Peter representing the Post Signals Project. Hopefully, Patrick McCormick can make it over too. But this is real, real important. So, as you know, I've been saying, nobody has a legal right to say anything. The lawsuits are ridiculous, blah, blah, blah. When they got the th law through in 2013-4, where they turned every nuclear waste, or every nuclear reactor into a nuclear waste facility, by law. I don't know how they pulled that stunt by the stroke of pen. No judicial process, no executive, no legislative. So now they're saying, oh, judicial got it through. Okay, okay. So... Here we go, right on cue. I, I timed this because I knew what time they come back. So, it should have been protest then. Under the Patriot Act, under the, they don't have to tell anybody where it's going. By law, they don't have to tell anybody where it's going. Oh, nice. So, by law, they don't have to tell anyone. They're wild Canadians. Transporting nuclear waste, maybe. So, this is real important. Whistleblowers in New Mexico, which I've been talking to for years. Now, whip blew up on the 14th, Valentine's Day 2014. They lied, they lied, they lied, Sulphur. Okay, whip got reopened last year. $2 billion. There was a lawsuit filed on the ventilation system. Well, that got settled. So, here's the situation. They started taking shipments earlier this year, they said a couple of weeks. But right on cue, right as PG&E and San Onofre said, they're going to start moving the waste in mid-December. It's being reported. My whistleblower told me this a while back. But now I found it in the media down there. Six loads a week are going in there. Now, is that coincidence, San Onofre? Now, I have saw the temporary permit. They have a temporary permit through the Department of Energy. It was leaked to me. I've seen it. They have the legal right to move it there. So, I think, now, do they need to tell you? You heard me in those hearings. Just do it. Just do it. Don't tell anybody. You know, they have the 100% legal right to do whatever they want. Nobody has a say. The Marines and the Navy have somewhat to say, but, you know, they, they still got to answer the Department of Energy. The NRC, fuck, what a joke. They're part of the, you know, they're just nuclear regulatory, they're the nuclear rallying cheerleaders. Whistleblowers try to come for them, they can't, they're cheating liars. So, now I'm going to find out more, but okay, my whistleblower said this today, I talked to him. So, you're seeing trucks come in, are they coming from the south, are they coming from there? Are they coming on the... Christopher Columbus, by the way, Trump has now with his blessings of Jill Stein, his cousin, and Bezos right there. Bezos comes from whip. Bezos is whip. Look it up. And Gates, the, you know, the clan, the Zion King. Can you feel the love tonight? They said they're going to start passing out the smallpox blankets. And they're going to double dose the Putin Kool-Aid. Red Trump Kool-Aid, blue Obama Kool-Aid. The green, which is all dead red Putin Kool-Aid, Zionist wannabe Kool-Aid. They're going to start passing out the smallpox blankets and the leukemia blankets. So the same thing, same old thing, 1916. So, listen, this is real important. Coming along the Christopher Columbus, huh? So, they say they're going to restart more mining, but I know for a fact, and you're going to get this nowhere on earth except from me. I know 